So when you're using My Viewboard Whiteboard, one of the things we recommend is that you sign into Whiteboard. One, this unlocks some advanced features, but it also gives you access to things like your Google Drive and or OneDrive. Now in the sign in window, there are a few ways we can sign in. First off, you'll notice there's a G, G for Google or the Microsoft logo for OneDrive. If you click on that, what it's gonna do is ask you to enter your email and password for either your Google account or your Microsoft account to sign in. This can take extra steps such as typing in the email and the password. And so what we're gonna to learn today is how to use the My Viewboard Companion app on your mobile device to be able to sign in more quickly. Now, if you need to download the app, an easy way to do it in the Whiteboard software is to go to the settings button in the top right corner. This will open up the settings menu and you'll see this option here called app. If you select that, there's a download for the app store if you're using an iPad or an iPhone or the Google Play Store if you're on an Android phone and or Android tablet. Now I already have the app installed here on my phone. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and open it. You'll notice that when you open the companion app, it's going to ask you if you are IT admin or participant. We're gonna choose host IT admin. I know that sounds weird, but essentially we're the host or we're the boss. The next thing it's gonna do is it's gonna ask you to sign in with Google, Microsoft, or Apple. Obviously we would use the account we normally use. So I'm gonna use my Google account here. Once you're signed in, you'll see different icons on the app such as the throw. Uh, we talk about this in another video we're gonna focus on signing in. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at that QR code button there. And what this does is when I touch it, it's going to turn on my camera. And remember the app is stored my credentials. So it's remembered my email and password. So now what I need to do is I need to walk over uh, to the window and I'm just gonna scan that QR code using the companion app. And what it does is it passes my credentials to whiteboard and it signs me in. And the way you can tell you're signed in is in the top left corner, you'll see your name and or email. Now, obviously that I'm signed in, I can access things like my Google Drive and do all that cool stuff. Again, go watch our videos on what happens after you sign in. Uh, but the companion app is a really easy way to boom, scan the QR code and you're signed in. Now, when you're ready to sign out, there's a few ways to do that. Uh, one, we can just close the software by clicking the X in the top right corner. Uh, you can also click on the icon in the bottom right corner. And what this will do is it'll open up a little window with your name and or email and that person with the arrows going away from each other, uh, that'll actually let you sign out from there. Or again, using the companion app in the top right corner, you'll see a little door with an arrow going out of it. If you touch that, it'll actually ask you if you want to sign out of the app. If you say yes, what this does is it signs you out of whiteboard. Uh, you can see my name is now gone from the top corner and then it can use the companion app to sign in again. So obviously we can use the Google logo or the Microsoft logo, type in your email password, but if you want a little bit faster way to sign in, uh, go grab the companion app, put it on your device and use that to sign into the whiteboard software.